Welcome back to Learn Medical Spanish. This episode is going to be about internal organs. So we're doing some more anatomy, internal organs. So again, it'll kind of overlap with some previous episodes because I've done some stuff about abdominal organs, for example. But repetition is good. It's, it's good to hear it more. It's good to say it more. The more times you say it, the more you'll remember it. So ideally be saying this out loud as we go along as usual. Um, so quick reminder, I've got these five very focused beginner medical Spanish lessons, which I'll send you by email if you go to learnmedicalspanish.org slash lessons, or look for the link in your podcast app or on the uh, video description. So a super high yield, really, really useful, and you could use them and practice them and even print them out or, or just look at them on your phone. <laughs> so let's go over the organs. We're going to say them in English and then Spanish twice. And so I'll give you enough time to say it out loud every time I say it. Here we go. The, well, we're kind of going from the head down to some extent, so we'll start with the brain. How do you say brain? El cerebro. El cerebro. So think of English words that sound similar, makes it easy to under, uh, to remember, right? Cerebral. It's come obviously from the same root. All right, what about spinal cord? La medula espinal. La medula espinal. Which I guess sounds like medulla oblongata. So again, similar roots that can help you remember things. La medula espinal. How about thyroid gland? La glándula tiroides. La glándula tiroides. Or you can shorten it. You're learning the whole phrase, but you can shorten it to la tiroides. And that's what I've heard native speakers say more often. La tiroides. Heart. El corazón. El corazón. Again, like I've said before, the reason we're saying el corazón is because in Spanish you just about always say the word the when you say a body part. So you may as well learn the correct way to say the. So how about lungs or the lungs? <laughs> Los pulmones. Los pulmones. Stomach. El estómago. El estómago. Liver. El hígado. El hígado. Gallbladder. La vesícula biliar. La vesícula biliar. Oftentimes people just say vesícula, but yeah, it's like biliary, you know. Um, so it's more specific because the vesícula might be a more general term that can refer to other things. But if you just say la vesícula, that's usually good enough. But like with anything else, point at it. Use nonverbal communication. <laughs> point at the right upper quadrant of the abdomen or whatever. All right. Uh, next is pancreas. El pancreas. El pancreas. It's spelled exactly the same, but you got to use those Spanish vowel sounds. Pancreas, not pancreas. So listen to that difference and practice both ways yourself. Spleen. El vaso. El vaso. 
small intestine or thin intestine. El intestino delgado. El intestino delgado. Large intestine or thick intestine. El intestino grueso. El intestino grueso. Which, of course, means thick intestine. But that's because they say thin and thick, we say small and large. Same idea. Next is kidneys. Los riñones. Los riñones. Adrenal glands. So earlier we, we, earlier we learned the word gland when we learned thyroid gland. So try using that again. Again, adrenal glands. Las glándulas suprarrenales. Las glándulas suprarrenales. So with your knowledge of medical terminology, you can easily kind of break that down. You know, suprarrenal, like above the kidney or whatever. All right, bladder. La vejiga. La vejiga. Uterus. There's more than one way to say this, but I think we'll just do the one that sounds the same. That's a cognate. El útero. El Utero. So just like English, there's words like womb that mean the same thing, uh, basically. But we'll just stick with that for now. Ovaries. Los ovarios. Los ovarios. Fallopian tubes. Sounds kind of like trumpets. It's going to be like trumpet, because they're trumpet-shaped, right? Or trump. Las trompas de falopio. Las trompas de falopio. Testicles. Los testículos. Los testículos. Prostate. La prostata. La prostata. So those are all the major organs, basically, and uh, and so we've kind of done all the major internal organs. Uh, I'm sure there's other things that could qualify, like thymus. We didn't do the thymus. <laughs> um, if you haven't already done them, check out my beginner medical Spanish lessons, five very focused beginner lessons at learnmedicalspanish.org slash lessons, or look for the link in your video or your podcast app. Thanks for being here. I'll see you next time. Actually, if you're on YouTube... There's also this playlist here with a bunch of medical Spanish dialogues and this video about my CME course. And then if you're on the podcast, obviously, you can just kind of scroll up, scroll down, scroll all around and see what other episodes and topics are available. All right. So appreciate you listening. Hope it helps. And I'll catch you next time on Learn Medical Spanish.